Hello and welcome back to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are once again on the uh, website of French auction portal Interon Shares to have a look at another French auction. Um, this one is by uh, Frank Thalot uh, Auctions based uh, in France of course. Um, this particular auction is uh, finishing on the 24th of June this is another example of a general French auction with just a few musical instruments in and it, this is just a very quick video uh, similar to the last one I posted just to show you what you might come across at a general French auction which I think can be sometimes quite interesting. Um, so it looks like it's 20.4% is the buyer's premium here. Uh, as always as this is a French auction if you're interested in bidding check the terms and conditions import export additional charges all of that stuff um, and without further ado let's just have a look it's going to be a very quick auction because I think there's only 10 musical instrument lots if even that um, but yeah I think it'd be interesting to see uh, what there is so the first lot here is uh, let's just invoke the power of uh, translation here because we seem to have lost it so let's uh, bring it back see if that kind of works for us um, yep here we go uh, here's a piano by Playl uh, with a wood veneer and blackened wood frame uh, with a rich interior decoration of an animated scene of, of the countryside interesting flowers and birds so let's have a look at what pictures we have here because I think we've got quite a few there you go there's some paintings on that I'm not sure if that uh, came with the uh, piano when it left the factory but interesting nevertheless 150 to 200 euros is the estimate there uh, then we have a violin labelled Nicholas Bertolini um, this is a French kind of uh, violin here, like probably a Mirkor violin that's uh, lost its uh, head, I think. So, not doing too well. 20 to 40 euros, it's uh, probably about correct. Uh, now we have a horn here, um, marked Kuzno and C. 20 to 40 euros i think it's uh seen uh better days i would say but nevertheless interesting uh clarinet mark j grass paris 40 to 60 euros there once again it looks like it's seen better days uh, a mandolin labeled uh, fabrica distrumenti amonisi giuseppe mariani uh, 40 to 60 euros I think that's probably about the upper limit for that you can see where the uh, kind of uh, various beetles and things probably carpet beetles have been eating that uh, thing so that's interesting this is a fairly interesting lot uh, elements of two violins one bearing a label Joseph Guarnerius a uh, few bows and things a couple of these bows could actually be interesting some of the tops look interesting that one not so much but uh, some of these bits look quite uh, quite interesting so 40 to 60 euros could be okay not the worst lot I've seen and then we have two flat bottom mandolins with a case not super exciting but 40 to 60 euros it's not outrageous um, and then we have three mandolins, um, one with a stridente label. Let's have a quick look at that. Once again, nothing too outrageous, but uh, I think for 40 to 60, it's not too bad. Two symbols uh, marked Zildjian uh, and a kind of brass horn there. 40 to 50 euros and then finally we have a child's violin uh, with a bow uh, in a case which looks like a 
free, fairly kind of low quality uh, trade violin there. So yeah, that's it. That's basically the auction. I just wanted to show you what uh, a musical instrument inside a very general French sale look like. So if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.